Bonjour, this is Cyril from Work Smarter, Live Better. In this video, I want to share with you one simple advice that can really save you time. I'm at the moment in Bukhara. So you're wondering, where's Bukhara? Bukhara is in Uzbekistan, probably about six hours south of uh, Tashkent. Uh, beautiful day, quite warm today. We're continuing our trip to support uh, Cameron uh, and uh, the under 23 Australian team. Um, we are driving tonight bike to Kwashi to watch the second game. Uh, but in between, TK and I are just visiting places. And so the last, uh, since yesterday, we've been in Bukhara this old city um, that was uh, an important city during the Silk Road, the road for, for uh, transporting silk from China to Europe. And this is the old Bukhara, and it is just unbelievably beautiful. I mean, wherever you go, you see all those old building, old monument, it's unbelievable. Um, so here we are. Now, uh, for those who like Star Wars, you're probably going to see in the background, there's something that really reminded me of the Star Wars movie, but that's another reference. Um, so I'm actually really lucky because I've got uh, a really good system. And while I'm traveling at the moment and on leave, I've got a whole system working in the background and a lot of things happening in Work Smart Early Better. And um, it all started many years ago. I remember working with a mentor called Taki. And Taki had this concept called the uh, Ice genius. Ice genius. I for incompetent, C for competent, uh, E for excellent, and G for genius. And his logic was everything you're incompetent, you shouldn't touch. Anything that you're competent, you shouldn't touch. Even the thing you're excellent, if you can limit it, um, the idea is to really focus and spend much more time on your genius. And based on this, um, it completely changed my philosophy of things. Before I was trying to do a lot of things and now I accepted that I have much more return on investment and enjoyment doing my genius and eliminating many things, but also the thing that I can't eliminate, delegating a lot. Um, now I hear a lot of people talking about delegation and say, Cyril, it's all well and good, but it's not that easy to delegate. Um, I, first of all, I don't have that many people that I can delegate to. And even if I find someone it takes too long to delegate, and also, I better do it myself. It's probably gonna be much better doing done by me. And I wanna challenge you on this one. Now, let's, let, let's think about something completely different. Let's talk about finance. Imagine that I come to you and I say, hey, I've got a, an investment scheme, and my return on investment is gonna be about 10% per year. You might say 10% per year at the moment, pretty good. What if I said to you, 20%. I've got an investment scheme and the return investment is going to be 20% per year. You would say that's amazing and if I do that year on year I'll be one of the best portfolio management, investment management that exists. Now let's, let's imagine that I come to you and I say I've got a 500% return on investment on your money. You wouldn't believe me. You would say you're a, you're a scam, it's impossible. Well this is delegating. Let me explain. Imagine that you're doing a task and it, um, you dedicate about half an hour every week to do that task. So half an hour per week, um, if you multiply that over the year, that's 24 hours. Now let's say if I said to you, you invest four hours, four hours of your time, and then after that, it's completely delegated. That's a 500% return on investment. That's the mentality. Um, it completely changed my mentality many years ago where I was really trying to do many things, as I mentioned. And then I realized, yes, it's worth making a bit of an effort investing those four hours because the return on investment multiplied by the amount of things you can do is huge. That's the logic behind that. And so for me, I've delegated everything linked to admin, all our program coordination. Um, I'm getting everything in IT. I've done this video after that, I send it and everything else is done. I don't touch it. I'm really bad at doing it. I'm very incompetent. So I'd rather delegate into people that are really good at doing it so that I can focus on the thing I really enjoy doing. Um, even I pay, I've got someone helping me. I, I do the thing that I love and the rest is delegated. There's so many things like that. So you can spend more time in your, ge in your genius. Invest, find the right person. It's not that hard. Invest a few hours to really properly delegate because the return on investment, if you start multiplying that by all the things you're doing is huge. 
So my question to you today is this. What is the one thing that you really should delegate? If you have three, wonderful, but start with one. What is the one thing that you really should delegate? This is this week Work Smarter, Live Better uh, tip. I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to continue uh, really walking around and visiting with TK this amazing city. And then at the end of the, you know, this afternoon, we're driving back to Quashi and go, as you go, supporting the Australian team. I hope you have a lovely day. Take care, everyone. Cheers.